I'm Bob Lindner, and uh, Betty and I were married in 1947, March, and uh, we lived in a, a four-family apartment about two blocks from the church, and we started going there immediately. The way I remember it, we started in the parsonage. They didn't have a building. They had uh, uh, just a parsonage, and we would go to church there. And We and never went to church there. That was before our time. We started it? going to, to the theater. theater. Okay. We went to uh, the church there, and uh, then we uh, bought a piece of land at the corner of the Sanibel and Redding Road, and uh, we built uh, our first church. We had a wonderful experience there uh, during those early days. Betty, I'll let you Well, I might uh, remind you that the church originally was called Roselawn Baptist Church, and uh, they felt that it would be more encouraging for uh, people to attend if they added the word community. It became Roselawn Community Baptist Church. And maybe you can say why we decided to move. Uh, we had grown uh, during those years from 47 until about 77. Uh, we started looking uh, for other possible locations. Came out and saw this location here, which was a farm owned by Betty Blong. I think we paid $100,000 for it in uh, 1978. But in the interim, before we we moved, and where did we meet? And we met at the... Uh, I think it was Sycamore yeah. High School, wasn't it? Was it Sycamore? I had forgotten it was. that. Uh -huh. yeah, I had forgotten that. I that's what... The building and the uh, real estate uh, cost a million dollars. So we took out a mortgage for $450,000 at 9.5%. That was the first mortgage. The reason he remembers all of this because he was the financial secretary yeah, I was, for many, many years. For about and 30 years. <laughs> Betty? Okay, where are we? So this building was dedicated, I believe, in 1980, and we started to grow and grow until here we are today. Yeah. And I remember the first day we opened here, I think it was in August of 1980, and we wondered if uh, how many people would come to church. But the church was almost full that first Sunday, and I just sat in that pew and just tears came to my eyes with the response that we had the first Sunday that we opened. It was a wonderful feeling and uh, and then through the years we've grown so considerably and to see from that little church that we went to uh, back in 1947 to to be such a successful reaching over 2,000 people on a weekend and uh, it's uh, it's very rewarding that we had a little part in the beginning of all of this. Amen.